Hi, I'm Celeste. Welcome to Find Your Purple. Today is day 27 of my 40 days of reflection. And this is a twofer. I thought it would be split into two days, but when I really looked at it, I think they're talking the same thing and just couching it in a different way. The first one is from a verse in one of Paul's letters to Timothy. And he's telling Timothy never to be ashamed of telling people about the Lord. And I think that's really important, especially I wasn't brought up in an evangelistic church, so I don't ever remember them encouraging us to go out and talk about our faith. They might have, and I missed it, because I honestly believe I missed a lot of things, but I don't remember ever the Catholic Church being an evangelistic church. Jehovah Witness, on the other hand, I do not believe in their doctrine, so don't don't get mistake there. They don't believe in the Trinity, for example. But I do admire their evangelistic approach. Now, I don't want to answer the door when they come, or at least I didn't in the past. Now, I would probably answer it and tell them my view. But I did admire that they step out into this place of discomfort. You know, they, it must not be comfortable for all of them to knock on doors and tell people when a lot of people aren't wanting them to. I do something called healing on the streets on Saturday mornings. have been doing it for the last several months, and I probably will talk about that before the 40 days is over. And, one, you know, and I basically ask people if they want prayer. And that's been kind of a huge step for me. Um, and you do, and I live in Austin, which is very spiritual and new age, which is why I liked it to begin with. But there are some that very much uh, have the belief that Christians are judgmental, self-righteous, you know, just, I don't know, we just have a bad rap. And I believed it too. I didn't want to be approached by someone, a holy roller type of thing, and have them in my face. So I totally get it. But Paul's telling Timothy, you know, don't be ashamed. So obviously Timothy was having problems with that and that he needed that encouragement. And that's something I pray for, is boldness to step out. Now, doing the videos is my little step out, but it's different talking to a camera than it is talking to a person and have that person, you know, get angry at you or call you names or something like that. At least with the video, if they write a comment, I can delete it, uh, or they can turn the channel. And uh, so it, but it's kind of my stepping out into that boldness, I guess. But the second place in the Bible is in Matthew. And, um, and they're basically saying people don't light a lamp and then put it under a basket. It's about shining your light. Now in the past I would have read that and I probably have seen it in different you know magazines and stuff that you know shine your light and that, that that's your gift or the thing that makes you you and all of that, which I still think is a valid comment. I still think it's um, important for people to be their own person and be proud of that. But I think in this context, it's probably talking about the same thing. When you become a believer, when you accept Jesus as your Lord, you need to shine that light because at that point, you get lit up. Uh, the Holy Spirit comes in you and you uh, are a light. And it might be a small light in a dark room, but it's a light. And the more you talk about it and the brighter the light becomes, the better it will be for you and everyone else. So I think both of those are talking about sharing our knowledge and the gospel and the good news. So that's it for today. So if you are a believer, then think about it. Have you shared it? with someone lately or ever. I think, again, prior to me becoming a Christian, even prior to this past year, maybe even the past six months, I probably never really shared it with anyone. Now, I'm still not real bold with it, but I'm doing better. So, and I think the more you do, it's like a muscle, I guess. It's a stronger I'll get at it, or the more confident I'll get at it, and the more I'll do it.
But that's it for today. As always, grab your cup of tea, sit back, and let's start sharing. Until next time, bye-bye.